it. So they start picking up stones to stone him with. Oh, how quickly things get turned. Those men that would have given their lives for him in battle all of a sudden blame him and want to take his life. That's what the devil does when he gets them off together. He did it to Jesus. The riots, they can call them whatever they want to call them. It was the mob action, and it was the devil. And anything other than that is a lie. Hello. So here he is now. Nobody to comfort him and help. He lost the same things they lost. And more, because he felt sorry for them too. So he goes and gets the priest's garment. He's not a priest. He's just desperate. And he puts it on and he goes before the Lord. He says, Lord, what am I supposed to do? Now David was a man who did not tolerate loss. But he is in a devastated situation now. Lord, what am I supposed to do? God says, pursue, overtake. First, second, third dimension. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Now, David, you know, you know that we are love and we are peaceful. And maybe we should just tolerate this loss and start over and, and move on and have a good testimony before the world. <laughs> that don't sound like God to me. That sounds more like the lying snake to me. God says, no, go get it back. Go get it back. So David took his men, took that emotion that they had and whipped it into a battle and pursued and overtook them and beat them down and killed as many of them as they could. And the rest they sent packing and they got all of their stuff. So they didn't just get their wives and kids and their treasures. They got those men's wives and kids and treasures. and They got all of it. God knows how to pay you back. He will anoint you to get it back. Recompense of reward. Ezekiel 34.4 the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, saying, Woe be unto you, for you have not brought again that which was driven away, neither have you sought that which was lost. God was unhappy with the pastors, the shepherds, the priests, the ministry, because they had not adopted his spirit to not settle for the lost. He said, you go get back what's been stolen. Joel chapter 2 verse 25, and I will restore unto you even the years that the locust and the canker worm hath eaten or stolen. God said, I'll give you back time off the clock. I'll, I'll go to great lengths to restore to you what has been stolen. I want to tell you, God's had enough. He has heard the cries of his people. And he has come down. It's time. It's past time. The devil has had this planet long enough. He has had my stuff long enough. Amen. He has had your stuff long enough. That's right. There's going to be 
some hell to pay. Yeah, we're going to pay hell back. Amen. Joel 2.25. I restore to you even the years. See, the word restore there is shalom, not shalom, shalom. And it means to bring restitution. It means to see that payment is made. It means to completely and fully compensate. Oh, yeah. Deuteronomy 32, 35. Thus saith the Lord God, to me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the, Im and the things that shall come upon them will come quickly. Who is them? All them demons and devils. All of them. Even those that inhabit people's bodies. All of them. They're going to pay. It says here their foot's going to slide. And the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that God has prepared for them will come upon them quickly. Keep a watch out, y'all. Keep a watch out. Because some payment going to be made. You can't abuse God's people and get by with it. You can't do it. This earth belongs to us. Not the devil. It's not his. He's a dead gum squatter. That's right. <laughs> Need to evict him. God evicted him from heaven. I believe, I truly believe, that God wants us to evict him from earth. Yeah. Don't give him any place to go except hell. Yeah. This is one time you can say go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> Colossians 2.15 And Jesus having spoiled, spoiled. That means he got the spoils. He got stuff back. He spoiled principalities and powers and made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Now let me tell you something. He didn't do that for himself. He did it for you. Everything he got back from them was yours. And he got it back. He got it back, and now in Christ Jesus, you still have those things. He got it back. He came to seek and save which was lost. He found it. He got it back. He beat the devil down. And the only way he can keep your stuff is if he deceives you and you believe him. When you know the truth, the truth's going to make you free. Yeah. And I have found out the truth. Yeah. The devil is a lie. Mm -hmm. And everything he does is a lie. Yeah. And everything he says is his is not his at all. It's ours. word spoiled there, Jesus spoiled principalities and powers. The word spoiled there is A-P-E-K-D-U-O-M-A-I. You can pronounce that if you want to, but I can. <laughs> it means to completely disarm and strip. The devil is not going to be disarmed and stripped. He already is. He just don't want you to know it. It means to loot, to plunder, to pillage, to ransack, to devastate, to ruin, to wreak havoc upon, to destroy, to annihilate, to dispossess. The Bible says that Jesus spoiled principalities and power. That means he completely disarmed and stripped them. He looted them. He plundered them. He pillaged. He ransacked. He devastated. He ruined and wreaked havoc upon them. He destroyed them. He annihilated them. He dispossessed them. They are running on empty, empty lives, empty threats. That's all 
they've got left, y'all. That's all they've got left. You have the power. You have God. You have the Holy Spirit, the prosecuting. It's all in your arsenal. No weapon formed against you can prosper. If God be for us, ain't nobody can be against us. Ain't nobody left. <laughs> They're all beat. First Corinthians six three. Do you not know that we shall judge angels? What angels? You gonna judge Michael? Oh, no. You gonna judge Gabriel? You gonna judge God's holy angels? You gonna judge the angels that rolled the stone away at the tomb? Got Peter out of prison. You're gonna join you gonna judge the angels that announced Jesus' birth to the shepherd. You gonna you gonna judge them? Heck no. So which angels you gonna judge? The guilty ones. The fallen. The evil ones. You gonna judge them. You are going to judge them. How? You gonna take the prosecuting attorney and bring a suit. And everything they've done to you is going to be done to them. Yes. Oh. You remember uh, the movie Color Purple? Mm -hmm. When uh, Celie gets that butcher knife at the table at the end. And she's going after Mr. And they have to restrain her. She seeks a bony little nub. Everything you've done to me going to be done to you. <laughs> you need to go to the prayer closet <laughs> and say to the Lord, everything the devil done to me, Lord, do to him. That's right. He going to pay. He going to pay. He going to pay. Big. In the book of Jude, the word krino in the Greek language is used. It means to bring a suit demanding penalty for crimes. That's what it's talking about in 1 Corinthians. Do you not know that we shall judge angels? That word judge is krino and it means to bring suit demanding penalty for crimes. Listen. Before God delivered Israel out of Egypt, he rained some hell on Egypt. Them people went through lice and frogs and bloody water and thick darkness, choking darkness. Them people went through some hell. Why? Hey, back. Payback. It ain't going to get no better till you let my people go. And then when they walked out the gate, there was not one sick one among them. Their clothes didn't wear out. They were, they were given water from a rock. They, manna was rained out of heaven. The Bible says it was angel food. They ate angel food. Listen, them people were blessed. Why? Because God said you suffered long enough. You my people. I have heard your cries. And I have come to set you free. Stand up on your feet. something way till next week. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm going to tell you now, we in for something. We in for something. We're going to get to see some, some things that's going to just tickle your soul. It's going to make you happy. It's going to make you dance in your living room. That's right. <laughs>
It's going to make you like they did on the day of Pentecost. That upper room couldn't contain them. They were just so full of the joy of the Spirit. They were not drunk with wine wherein except, but they were filled with the Spirit. Their mouth was filled with the Spirit. Their feet and their hands were filled with the Spirit. They were running up and down the street speaking the glory and praises of God. You're going to have to spill out of your living room, into your community, running up and down the street praising God. Because the Holy Ghost is going to be on you, and you're going to be happy because you got your stuff back. That's right. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. We have found the truth, and the truth is making us free. Devil, you're a liar. You're a snake. Yep. You're a cheat. Yes. You're a thief. Yes. Liar. You're an embezzler. <laughs> you are a deceitful, yes. odious, ugly stench mm. to us and to God. Pack your satchel. You are done. Yes. Get out. Get off our planet. Go to hell. That's right. In Jesus' name. Get out. Yeah. Amen. 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 Don't forget this offering basket. And remember. Be vigilant. Be watchful. Not because your adversary, the devil, walking around a roaring lion. I think he, he knows his days are numbered. But be watchful for what God's about to do. It's on the horizon. Yes, it is. And the church is going to see it first. The rest of the population will catch up with it later. They might not get to be a part of it like you will. But the church is going to see it first. The true church. Not just everybody that calls himself the church. Amen. Amen. You're a holy remnant. Amen. You are a blessed anointed remnant. Father, bless these people. Keep your hand upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. Bring them back to your house. Amen. 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 Go in peace. Amen. God